All right, Coach. Uh, it's excellent pitching tonight about the bullpen again, but he has only five hits. This kind of what did you see out there tonight? I mean, that, that guy's – it's a tough look with that left-hander. That's a obscure look. We did a good job of driving the pitch count up. To, I think he was at 112 in the six. We had some opportunities. I mean, I told the guys we were one swing away the whole night. Um, and we put ourselves in a situation where they could go to Whitworth and, and the neighbor's guy, which are elite bullpen arms, and just didn't get it done. Is that what you expected from Burima, though? Go yeah, ahead. pretty much. That's yeah. what we we had a we, what we thought was a decent plan, but he kind of pitched through the plan. So uh, it's a different look. You guys saw it. Like there's not a guys a lot of guys that look like that. Um, and we had I think it was the fourth inning right there was this guy had the double, and then good at bat by Danny to get us tied, and then they took the lead back. Well, Jack was able to get you to within one with that home run. Mm -hmm. He was the only guy to get multiple hits tonight. Just what stuck stuck out to you about Jack in the batter's box today? Well, he got a couple good pitches to hit and didn't miss them. Um, he was looking in on some certain pitches and got them and, and didn't miss them. And you could have a plan all you want, but if when you get it and you don't hit it, it doesn't matter. What did you think of Dom's outing? Did you, did you run out of steam there maybe in that I think inning? so. I think so. Um, I mean, he gave up the home run on the one-two pitch. I think the, the, the only issue you'd probably have with the outing was the walk after the home run, and then the, I think it was a walk, then a wild pitch, and then they get the sack fly, kind of a gift run there. Uh, but he was he was pretty much in control except for those couple of out, couple of pitches in the middle of that outing. So no talk about going to the pen at that point. In the sixth, there was talk. Like we had him ready. Um, we liked the matchup with the the leadoff hitter and, and Jones because he got him up both out twice there and just didn't get it done. What about as far as you know, Spower and Sosnowski coming out of the bullpen there? Yeah, Bow, that was a tough spot. Like, and then he pitched through the other spot where we kind of had to create some stuff there with Jones, where we didn't feel like we could get a double play with one of the best runners in the conference. So, ended up putting them on and lucked out they hit into a double play. We just talked to Chris Sosnowski. Tell us more about what he's been able to, to do for to do for you this season. I know he was coming off Tommy John a couple of years ago. He's too correct, and, and he he'll tell you he didn't have a great fall. Um, and he, he battled through some stuff, and he took what we talked about in the in the fall meeting, and took it to heart, and came back. Since his first bullpen in the spring, he's been he's been on it, and we in the middle of the outing, Coach Thomas and I talked about like he's getting better every single time he goes out there, and he deserves that. Mikey's been struggling a little bit. Mm -hmm. what, what what do you what's your message to him? And what's your approach with him? Well, I think he's got to. At this moment, like when you're struggling, like we're talking about seeing the baseball, right? I don't think he's seeing the ball right now. His last at bat, it looked like he was closer to being on on that fly ball to left. Um, you can kind of see it snowball into him. So like just kind of slow down. Let's figure it out. Let's figure out how they're pitching us and make an adjustment. We'll, we'll, he'll he'll do that. You know, normally in these close get, get close games, have usually gone gone your way one of the very times now where where it doesn't where it doesn't. What's your kind of your message to the team after a close loss like this? It's we've been through this before. Like get yourself ready to play on Sunday. You're built for this. Find a way to get up in the morning and go win a series. What do you think of your starter tomorrow and, and, and the importance of that closing out a series? Yeah, and Wiley's got to go out and be Wiley Hartley and con control the strike zone, control the, the running game, which he's really good at, field his position, and then give us a chance to go to the bullpen. We should be ready to go. Yeah, Anthony Calibro in the starting lineup today, second time at, since with him in Bethune as well. Just what about him that may, made you decide to put him in the starting lineup this week? We give him a chance. Well, he's that. earned that opportunity. He's he's done everything we've asked of him. He's provided some some energy off the bench and in his start at Bethune, and the guys rally around him, and he's he's earned that opportunity. What does this team need to do to in the rubber match tomorrow to take to take the series? Well, we got to figure out a way to get more than five hits and control their offense a little better, and we'll see where that takes us. Appreciate it, thank you, guys. Appreciate it, thank you.